and I'm sure there's more information that's going to come out. I mean, here, here's the reality. When the leaks first came out, people said it's fake. They, 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 you know, circled the fucking wagons and decried it's completely fake, it's completely fictitious and made up. But within a week, they were admitting to it. They're admitting, yeah, we had conversations. Yeah, we use that messaging service. Yeah, we're into this. So the more time that goes on, the more information that comes out, the more pressure that's applied. It, it doesn't look like it's fake, especially after Kiro admitted that he wasn't hacked and admitted that he did talk to people and he did have interests that were you know similar to this. They're looking for the best angle they can take. I mean, that's really what it is. These people want to be able to say, um, yeah, I'm fucked up and I do screw up things, but it's not that bad. They, they, they want to try to back it up just enough so you don't want to kill them. But with the amount of shit they talked about, I mean, where's that line? The degeneracy, we're going to start with uh, a person in their group called Snake Thing. One of the, uh, uh, well, I, you know, I'll read, I'm going to read the thread title for you. Snake Thing, and this is how they describe him and his own little thread in Animal Control. Furry, zoo satanism, telegram ringleader, necrophile, puppy rapist, nephew molester. So that is who we're going to start with. Uh, but this is about Snake Thing. This is a person that was involved in the zoo sadism leaks. That was the leak that involved Kiro, the YouTuber with 100,000 subs, and other uh, assorted furries. We talked about, I think, Amber Wolf last time, talked about Kiro, and lightly touched on Snake Thing. But Snake Thing is seen in a lot of the screen caps. So Levi is one of the several furries outed as a zoo sadist in the Zudnim uh, leaks, which is the person that uh, initially dumped them on the internet. The leakers describe him as being a key organizer among the zoo sadists. So this is somebody that was deeply connected to all this shit. Uh, and we've already heard them talk about pedophilia. Okay, uh, If you missed the stream from the third, you might be playing a bit of catch up here. But it goes well beyond animal torture. It goes well beyond having sex with animals. Uh, torturing puppies, all that kind of stuff. Uh, these people do things to kids, and they advocate doing things to kids. And we're going to be looking at screen caps of alleged conversations between Snake Thing and other people talking about victimizing children. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, you know, th these are the furries in their natural fucking habitat, and it just it's never good enough. They can't just be degenerate at one fucking level. They take it, you know, up a notch time and time again. Uh, the OP in this particular thread, before we get into this, uh, said Levi had sexually abused his nephews and talked about it with fellow uh, furry pedophile. Uh, it appears Levi shared CP with James as well. Possible of said nephews. In the logs, Levi and James discuss how Levi's mother is in some capacity aware he is sexually interested in minors. Despite this, she still lets him around her nephews, resulting in them being abused. So, uh, prepare yourself. Let me Let me start pulling up screen caps and we'll Take a look at what these fucking people are up to. I'll try to get these on screen as best I can after I check to make sure there's not fucked up animal torture in them. And uh, we'll go. All right, let me pull that down. Window capture. There we go. Uh, hopefully it's viewable enough for you. But I'll, I'll obviously be reading a lot. Snake thing and Sangi. Uh, again, this is part of the, the leaks that happened about three weeks ago. Snake thing. It really would be. I could sit you in my lap at the computer and stroke you as you look at pictures of, and I believe the redacted portion is his nephew. Ha ha. Colon, uh, three. I need more, or I need him more nude. I need him more nude, too. You do have that old video of him, though. The one I made for you. Gone. Gone, XD? I'm sad. I may, able, or I may be able to get it back for you if you want it. Yeah. Didn't show much, by the way. I'll have to look around, though, when I get to my computer. I know I still showed enough, though. So I believe this is the beginning of the conversation where they're talking about the kid that he has access to. He wasn't just satisfied with abusing him. He wanted to share that abuse with other furries. And he'd go as far as, I guess, taking requests. People were sending requests on what they wanted to see. And from what he says and from what other people involved in these conversations say, the mother was aware that something underhanded was going on. So she's not innocent in this. Uh, all right, let's go to the next one. 
So it's a good idea to never be forward. He's a bit of a blabbermouth. Thankfully, I've managed to keep him quiet thus far. But to be honest, I've stopped it with him for two reasons. Uh, number one, he has told me to say hi to you, but hasn't really mentioned anything else. He isn't upset or anything, but I think he's not as inclined as he was. I'm sure he still finds you handsome, though. God, what is it with pedophiles and delusion? I'm sure he still finds you handsome, though. Yeah, I'm sure that's what the kid's thinking when he looks at a fucking fur fag. He's a, what a handsome guy that guy is. After a while, I'd rather ha uh, him not recollect too much of the stuff. Number two, I prefer blank. Plus, don't want to do more with. So it looks like they're two children. At least in the forward sense for two. I don't know if that makes sense. Think blank would be more likely to be hush. I do. Plus, you've seen his wee-wee. So that's a plus. Just no shame. These people have no fucking shame. So, I mean, this would seem to allude to the fact that he's admitting openly that he's sending ch of a family member, of a young male family member, to another furry. And going as far as to do photo shoots. Uh, it's specialized content. It's not enough just to molest the poor fucking kid. This piece of shit has to take it to the next fucking level and make it just worse. Has to really ride up the fucking bill of the therapist the poor motherfucker's gonna need when he's older. Alright, uh, let's go to the next ones here. Yeah, and this guy, he does this when he talks, and it's so fucking annoying. Aww, okay. I'm sure he'd love to meet you someday. I didn't mention this earlier, by the way, but when I took those pictures earlier today of me with his underwear, well... I pawed with them and orgasmed with them. Didn't orgasm in them, but got a little bit on the outside on accident. I made a video of it. So, this degenerate piece of fucking filth takes the kid's underwear, and I, I, we can all assume what he means by pawed with it, and... Uh, uh, Alright. Snake thing. Hey, you really need... Jesus, you really do need a kid to... F Let's drug blank and hump his butt. JK, JK, JK. Mmm. I don't think the drugs would be needed. Perhaps. They may not, although it'd loosen him up a bit so you could enter him a lot easier. You'd be able to get in quite deep, I'd imagine. What kind of woman knows that this fucking degenerate is interested in children and allows him access to them? What kind of mother would you have to be to, to let that happen? To just, to turn a blind eye to it. I mean, what the fuck is your problem, lady? And there's no way if this guy is this open in private conversation. He talks about it with everybody, and all these leaks we saw this constantly brought up. He's not ashamed of the weird, fucked up shit that he's into. And so, what's weird to me is if he's that open about his degeneracy, if he's that open about his pedophilia and hurting animals and doing disgusting shit like that, how it is nobody calls him on it in real life. How his parents can turn a blind eye to it. How nobody else in the family says anything. How none of the neighbors have beaten him with a fucking baseball bat at this point. Let's uh, move to the next one. Uh, Sangi, does having the image make me a kid slut? Yes, sir, it does. Don't worry, though. Being a kid slut is quite the promotion over a regular one. Trust me. Ha 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 ha. I sure don't see much action for being a slut or anything. True. That's why you're a kid slut now. Gotta get all them youngins and corrupt the fuck out of them. Giggles, XD? Oh, sorry, I didn't put that one up. There you go. I'm, I'm reading their conversation between Sangi and Snake Thing. Gotta get them young and corrupt the fuck out of them. It's openly talking about grooming children and bringing them into this lifestyle. There's, they're fucking openly, blatantly talking about it. Let's get some kids and screw with their mental well-being and just try to fuck them up as much as we can. I mean, they even talk about drugging children. Drugging kids, to taking pictures and videos of them. And it's all XD emoticons, swinky faces, smiley faces. They no shame, no fucking guilt in what they're doing. They're totally into this. Loving every fucking second of it. This is what happens when you leave a fucking community of degenerates alone. And you let them spread their fucking shit. And nobody, there's no pushback against it. 
and I know that not all furries are like this, but from what I've heard a lot of furries say, it's almost like they've given up on pushing back against it. When you've got furries talking about, you know, having petting zoos where they're raping animals, or rooms dedicated to fucking kids at conventions, where they're openly having conversations like this, or it's kind of already known in the community that people behave like this, where they're fucking teens, or even preteens, or trading CP, or animal abuse photos, hey, you gotta put your fucking foot down. If you, you're allowing this to continue, and they're gonna become more ingrained in your fucking community. They're gonna dig deeper, they're going to latch on like parasites, because that's what this these kind of filth are. They're parasites. And they're going to spread that, that shit to everywhere. And it's going to get to the point where they're the majority, and then you can't push back against it. Because there are too many of them. Because they're too ingrained into it. Because they're at too many conventions. They run too many websites. They're part of too many forums. And then you're shit out of luck. Because you either become a degenerate or you give up whatever the fucking hobby or community, whatever you think of it as. Yes, chat. Press G to gas. I have to double check these ahead of time. Uh, again, snake thing with the fucking emoticon shit from Snaggy. Iggy is hot too. He is, P. Where do you know him from? And then he's quoting something. Uh, this is from, I guess, a user named Iggy. So I had fun this night. Uh, okay. So I had fun with night, and they were not my age. So I was in my house, laying on the couch, half naked in a jock, and I turn over, and this little black kid was staring at me through the glass door that leads to the patio. So I opened the door to come in, uh, to ask, uh, asked him to come in, and I said, sure. We talked on the couch, and he said it was very hot, which is why I don't turn the AC on. So he took off his pants and a shirt, and we sat there naked, talking. I started to rub his leg, then I rubbed his stomach. He then decided to kiss my hand, and after that he put his clothes back on and had to go home. So I guess Iggy is another one of them that sits in a fucking hot house, turning he doesn't turn the air conditioning on, on what, the off chance that a child wanders in? Snake thing, a cub group. Oh, it's a cub group, of course. Cute. Yeah. Furry cubs or, nope, entirely different cub group. One that doesn't shy away from RLC talk. I'm, I'm going to guess RLC stands for Real Life Children, just given the context of the conversation. Uh, but it continues on the next uh, cap. Oh, by the way, I'm doing chores with, name redacted, I was trying to get him to do something he didn't want to do. And mom was all like, he's your uncle. You do everything he says, no questions asked. And I'm here like thinking, oh well, can you suck my dick, XD? XD, oh my fucking god. LOL, I got bit hard, won't lie. I got bit hard, won't lie. I love your mom, but she apparently is still naive about you. Oh, she knows I have an interest in CP stuff. She's not that naive. Well, sort of. She's just way too busy in life to do much about it. Nibbles. As far as I know, she thinks she's keeping me in line, XD. Yeah, right. In line of keeping me thinking about fucking little kiddos. God. You know, when these leaks dropped and people started looking through them, they, they saw a lot of fucked up shit. They saw animal torture. Uh, and that, that those were videos and pictures of that. People killing puppies, doing really horrendous things. Uh, and then you got to the kid stuff where they're talking about this sort of shit. And uh, there were groups kind of parsing through all of this, looking through all of this. And they're really disgusted by it because obviously it's fucking horrible. But I wonder if that's what, it, you know, it gives me an appreciation, I think, for cops. Because that must be what it's like for people that work in CSI, right? Like that has to be a soul crushing fucking job where you go into work every day and you're dealing with people like this that are that unrepentant about what they do. And you have to collect the evidence, and you have to watch the videos, and look at the pictures, and read the statements, day in and day out, of people like this. Just how fucking destroy... That must just destroy you. That has to snuff out a piece of what makes you you. Can you imagine that? Just how fucking crushing that job would be? Dealing with this shit every day? This is only a taste of it. 
Those motherfuckers do it as a job. They have to sort through this kind of shit every day. God fucking Christ. Again, this is the same conversation between Snake Thing and Sangi. Is that even the mildest tent really tends to be noticeable? Or at least it bulges them out to noticeable degrees, and I use it to my advantage when I'm giving them hugs. You're bad. You know you love it. I've given, and again, I believe that's the name of the nephew, a hug with a half stiffy before in these shorts, XD. My member practically went up between his legs when I partially lifted him up in the hug. Well, of course it'd be a tent, not an actual member, but you get what I mean. Uh, because how else to take advantage of a child than molesting them while you're giving them a hug? Like a good uncle would. Snake Thing is such a upstanding member of society, and I'm sure that kid just will have fond memories of the degenerate shit that this person's done to them. Uh, Snake Thing, you know what you love it, though. Wags butt at. Also, figure out the schedule on coming here. Blank will seduce me, though. Oh, really now? I'm not sure how much longer he's going to be here. Come in the next week, and I think he's going to be here still. So you can drag him into your lap, lift him up while copying a feel, etc. Also, the reason I wear the shorts that I do. Oh, and this goes into what we just read, where he's talking about the tent. So it's not just making you know, videos and pictures for the other degenerates in this fucking Zuseda shit. Uh, he's inviting them to come over and molest the kid, too. So it's not just, I want to molest him, it's I want you to come over and do it. No shame. These people have no shame. This is a person that is sexually aroused by the torture of animals and the abuse of children. He's, he's not just, you know, unrepentant in it, he's exuberant and doing these things. He likes it. He wants to share these activities with other people. He wants to spread the word on doing this shit and get other people involved in doing it. I would say that fits the bill for what evil is. I, I think you're right on that. Now let me pull up some more screen caps here and we'll, we'll continue along. It's just, yeah, man. <laughs> these fucking people. All right. Now, I, uh, these I'm going to have to be a little more careful on because uh, they involve... I, I'll, you know, I'm going to describe what's in these pictures because I can't obviously show them on stream. Uh, it's animal torture. Uh, it's kittens being crushed and puppies being crushed and stepped on and their eyes being gouged out. That That's in here. But um, we will get to that in a minute. All right, let me pull this up. Giggles, what? This is uh, uh, this is between him and Tane, apparently another person. Dick, is he localish? Oh or nah? He lives in Texas. Nods, nods. But he comes and visits me rarely. Only once so far, but he's the approved visitation friend by family, as families love him. Aw, that's real nice. Mmm, it is, Wags. He's also into cubs. I've sent him sneaky photos of my sister's kids many times before. Oh, Naughty. Mmm. Blushes. So it's not just a conversation about molesting children with one person in this fucking leak. They're all doing it. They're they're all talking about it. Uh let's let's move on with the animal abuse. This is between Ember. I believe that's Ember Wolf. Let me let me double check here. That was the person we talked about last week. Or no, was that Glow Fox? I don't keeping track of these fucking names. All right. Here we go. Uh, they're linking to things, but Snake Thing, that's perfect. You're going to get her? Maybe. Yeah, for a permanent pet or temporary. Aw, I wish you'd bring her down to me. Wags. They're sharing pet pictures with each other. I'm sure that's going to lead into the conversation about butchering them. Let's find out. If you do end up getting her, I totally have requests. I won't share anything with anyone ever, of course, obviously, if you're comfortable with that. Oh, you want to rape the bitch? Do you, XD? I most likely won't be able to join you, but if you do get her and have fun, I have requests for you to do. Hmm, like... Muzzle docking. Shoving yourself deep in her throat. That's my favorite thing. In or out of a suit. Though there isn't enough zoo stuff with suits involved. Up to you, though. As I said, I wouldn't dare share anything you give me. Huff. Muzzle docking, throat fucking... Winking, smiley face. 
yeah, these people are the devil. Is the word rape appropriate to explain what you like? Because if so, marry me. Uh, they link to a video, which thankfully we can't watch, but we can imagine what these disgusting fucking subhumans are into. And hey, I like it hard. God damn, that's hot. It's not the first animal that I raped until the end. What do you think he means by raped until the end? Rape until it dies or until you orgasm, XD? And you fucking awesome. It's so good to meet another person that likes this stuff. The first one, winking emoticon. And the first one was death. I love you, XD. So he's raping animals to death. That's the video file that they're sharing with each other. I've seen those. They're amazing. Hey, how long, how young do you like the dogs? Newborn. Hey, hey, I like that a lot. I absolutely love puppies. I've been hilt deep inside of a 12 year or 12 week old puppy. Three puppies have died on my cock. God, that's fucking awful. Uh, playing so much with puppies, and it's a picture of him doing unspeakable things to a little puppy. Snake thing, you're amazing too. A great person with some amazing common likings. And oh my. And there's a, another photo of a woman in high heels crushing a puppy to death. Oh my, you like crush? Yes. Strangling and more. So apparently these disgusting pieces of shit have uh, different methods that they enjoy for torturing and killing animals. Of course they would. Uh, this is from another person in the group. Wolf, a wooden toy I used to fuck a virgin bitch. Honey was applied to a few hours before so that the fire ants would cover the toy. It was shoved into a virgin bitch pussy minutes later. Snake thing, I saw that. I love it. So just so you understand what this person is saying, they made a wooden stake and they covered it in honey to get fire ants on it. And then once it was covered in ants, they inserted it into a dog. And then shared the video with other people in this group. You know, when I told you it gets darker, and I told you that the people involved in this shit, it went way beyond what was initially talked about. You know, when we started this, it was Kiro fucking a dead deer carcass. And people were like, holy shit, that's fucked up. How could it get worse? Here you go. I mean, that's, that's some shit that you'd see out of uh, a Saw movie. Like, that's a step beyond. I, I, don't even, I, don't, I don't even know how to classify it. It's not just, it's not just fucking and killing animals. It's, they want to torture them. He devised a way to put ants inside a dog and watch it suffer. And then he shared that video with other people on the internet for his sexual amusement. And they're sharing this in this group. These people are sharing this shit with each other. It's, uh, fucking awful, is what it is. Snake thing. I love puppies, XD, wags. I agree. This is a conversation with Wolf now. Played with a four-month-old puppy yesterday, but only for a little while. He humped really nice and had a beautiful cock. Wish I could spend more time with him to take some pics. Oh? Did he mainly dom you, or did you dom him as well? I dommed him. But that was really quick. I was visiting someone and was left above with the pups for a few minutes while the owner was taking out his car. He could be a good dom with time. Oh, what do you do with him? Humped his muzzle? To start, I'd fully pull back his sheath and lick his fully exposed knot to then tie up with a cord and keep it hard for as long as I want. Then I'd play with his balls and tail hole. I'd restrain him and put a metal ring with duct tape in his mouth to make him lick my cock, whether he likes it or not. I could come in his mouth or eyes, play soft or hard with his balls, and this guy is fucking awful. I, I don't even know how I'd react to that. If I had somebody over at my place and I went out to the car to do something or run an errand and I came back and they were brutalizing my dog, I'd kill him. I would fucking murder the guy. I would throw him, I, I'd, I'd fucking kill him. Who, this, this, uh, do you think his friend knows what went on? You think his friend knows that this guy is like stalking his pet? 
He probably has no idea. He probably has no fucking clue that this piece of shit does this and is wants to take it further. That he's going to torture this guy's puppy when he's not paying attention. He's a fucking sociopath. You know, all smiles and cordial when somebody's there in the room with him. But the moment the back is turned, you know, the, the moment he's alone with a victim, he goes and does just horrific fucking things for his own amusement with no remorse. It's just about self-gratification. He doesn't care about anything else. Uh, this is again continued with Wolf and Snake Thing. Morning Nymph. Uh, and they, they share a picture of some sort. Those pics are actually my own stuff from last weekend. Oh, damn, you're one lucky hell of a ba- or you're one hell of a lucky bastard. Lol, she has a tight pussy. Has or had giggles. She was a pit bull that I found last Friday, and was a virgin also. I removed her tits and inserted some in ass, others in pussy, then butt-fucked ass to pussy, made her eat one or two of her tits. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I thought he misspelled this, but no, he's, he means a bat. There was a video of a puppy, okay. There's a video of an animal being assaulted with a baseball bat. He bat-fucked her, is what he means. Uh, her throat and ass and pussy. Snake thing, oh, should have gotten a male doggo to rape her, too. Always wanted to see some dog-on-dog dog rougher-esque stuff before. Human intervention, too, with that in mind. Oh, damn. I want to see that. Had. Lol. And they share another video. Wow, I like that. Lol. Also chopped off her tail and used it to fuck her pussy. Amazingly, she was still standing after the bat fuck. Chopped off her head and then removed her pussy with the tail still inserted. Have you done something similar before? I actually think I recall you mentioning before you had a dog dick inside of a dog's head or something like that. Goddamn, very nice, would love to see that. And he shares a video of what, or a picture, I'm assuming, of what he described. Yeah, I do. I will show you a pic later, but it's only for you. Don't share it. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, this is what we're dealing with, chat. This is the shit that leaked, and it's a private conversation between a group of furries that uh, I don't. May, uh, maybe the community knew they were like this. Maybe they didn't. But it's so far beyond, uh, you know, like a Mister Hands thing where some idiot gets fucked to death by a horse. Like this is pure evil, right? Like this is a super a cartoonish supervillain level of evil that they're involved in. It's just not one kind of degeneracy. It's everything. These people are soulless. They lack a fundamental part of what makes a person a human being. It's the, They get the satisfaction and gratification out of the torture and suffering of animals and children. And they revel in it. And they share it with each other. And they produce it for each other. It, it, that's the, the probably the most fucked up thing about it. It's not just that they have access to that kind of material. It's they produce it, and they egg each other on to do more of it. Go look at Fur Affinity or Ink Bunny, and look at all the fucking diaper furs, and all the really weird shit they write. I mean, it's, it's pervasive within their community. And it seems to be the sort of thing that's just kind of <sighs> slithered its way in deeper and deeper, and taken more of a hold. So, I mean, who fucking knows what two weeks from now is going to look like, or a month from now is going to look like, or if another fucking leak hits, or if more fucking shit comes out. And I can't show you a lot of this stuff. Um, you know, a lot of the stuff involving what they were doing to animals, the videos and pictures. And even if those particular videos and pictures weren't made by them, they're still exchanging them and talking about making their own. It's just horrendous fucking stuff. Just horrendous stuff. I don't know, chat. Am I getting old? <clears throat> have, I, have I become the eternal boomer chat? Is that what the problem is? Uh, am I not edgy enough for the internet anymore? I mean, I think there is a certain line when you get a group of fucking mascot-wearing retards that want to rape and kill animals and molest children. I mean, I think that maybe is a point most people could commonly agree on that's probably a bridge too far uh, that most people would find repugnant and have an issue with. Uh, you know, this isn't, uh, 
this isn't them playing it up for a laugh. I mean, this is shit that they're into. This is shit that they're really excited about. These people are fucking awful. They're just, they're fucking awful human beings. And I, I really don't pity them. Whatever blowback they get from this, I don't fucking feel bad for it at all. Uh, you know. And the other thing, too, is who knows what else they were into, right? Like, I mean, if that's the shit they're talking about casually, could you imagine what they themselves think is so fucked up they don't mention? Like, if that's the stuff they're open about, imagine the shit they're keeping close to the vest. You know, it, it's a fucked up thought, but these fucking people, man. I think that covers a majority for now. If, if there's more logs that dump in the next couple of weeks, if there's more shit that comes out, you know, I'll talk about it later on. But I, I just wanted to put this forward again because I think the internet has forgotten why we used to hate furries and I think maybe we need to remember why we fucking hated them. And uh, if the furry community itself isn't going to exert some force and pressure on the people doing this, then maybe the, the you know outsiders uh, need to do that and step in and, and, and pick up that slack uh, by, by shitting on fur fags again. Uh, you know, by bringing back the old mentality of how to deal with these people. They've all segregated themselves onto their own specialized sites where they can just kind of echo chamber each other and talk about how this is acceptable. And this is the end result, is they, they don't think it's wrong. I mean, they think it's okay. They're fine with it, man. They're, they're going to keep doing this crazy, weird, fucked up, degenerate shit. So I, I guess that's where I'll leave it.